not a god. All right, so today's wedding, um, well, actually, yesterday's wedding, we finished, and by the time we got home yesterday, last night, it was 1.30 in the morning, so we packed everything, backed a few things up, got to bed, and then back at the team was back out this morning at the groom's house for 5.15, so working on a few hours sleep, but still on fire, 100% committed. Um, started off in Wolverhampton, uh, the most amazing groom, the most amazing family. Um, I did the sister's wedding donkeys years ago, so, um, so it's like really nice to come back to the family. Um, Somerset Road, Goodwill in Hansworth. Uh, a few restrictions on things that we could and couldn't do. Um, again, single-sided wedding, which is a no-no. Um, so we had a few problems with the other side. Um, just kind of getting in the way. But nice, nice, nice company. And now we are here in Birmingham on the Hagley Road, uh, Regency. Um, beautiful venue, very nice, airy. They've got the AC on. It's absolutely piping hot outside, so they've got the AC on, which is absolutely lovely. Um, and then, yeah, that's it. We'll interview the suppliers. We'll talk about what's been going on, and I'll see if I can get the bride and groom on. moment please no interruptions we've got the camera team around the edge of the dance hall that will stop any mussy moving forward i'm sure they will hold you back the guys from vid ego they secretly all have black belts in kabaddi <laughs> so i'm sure they'll stop the hunting and the mussy making their way forward but please let them have their moment there are <laughs> Where are we? Regency, Birmingham. How are you getting on? How are you getting on? You're bloody making me work really hard. You got that dance floor kicking today. Can you just calm the music down? Okay, so there's two situations that we've had to incur here today, which happens from time to time. Sound limiter, a DJ's worst, like worst enemy, which has killed us, and when they have to do Sugan in the hall. Bride and grooms out there, don't ever book a venue that has a sound limiter in there because it just kills it. Unless you book me, because let me turn it around. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. And you book these guys to film your wedding, yeah, because they just make it look amazing. And don't do second at the hall. It has to happen at the Godavada. Please, please, please. Oh, it, it kills it. It eats into your dancing time. No one wants to dance because they want to give second, which is cool, but try and do that at, at, at the ceremony. But apart from that, family are awesome. All the guys, girls, they're all getting involved. Um, they're having dinner now. And yeah, it's been fun. So how long have you been DJing? Uh, way too long. I think I need to uh, just hang up my headphones and get, uh, get a proper job, as my mum would say. <laughs> now, a long time, a long time. So, but yeah, can't complain. I made a, I made a living out of a hobby, so I'm very lucky. So, what's the secret of keeping the dance floor kicking? Just play good music. It's as simple as that. It don't need to be too fancy. Nowadays, you know, you don't have to be the best DJ in the world, but as long as you play the right tunes for the people that are on the dance hall that want to dance, that's always the key. I do like the fact that, that you're very interactive with the crowd though. You do chat to them as you're kind of playing the tracks. Yeah, yeah, you've got to get them involved. Everyone's got their own style. I like to get everyone involved. And I like to, you know, whether you're six, whether you're 60, I want to make sure that everyone's part of the day. Um, that's very important to me. And to play the right tunes, get it kicking, get everyone's hands in the air, raving, bring a bit of Ibiza to Birmingham. You know, that's the way that we like to do it. And Mate, it's been happening, it's good. And making us work really hard <laughs> at the same time. So let everybody know where they can get information about you guys. Um, well, just go online, Google Jags Climax and all the ads and it'll all be there and stuff like that. And follow her blogs, they're awesome. So check them out and bride and grooms, if you want any tips, uh, yeah, check the blogs out, get your pen and paper out, make some notes, and that will make your event perfect, trust me. Book me, book him, that's all you need to do, that's all you got to do. <laughs> yeah, you got to be about four years in advance, but yeah, if you're that early, then yeah, we're available. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
Guys, I know you're eating, yeah. but I wanted to say congratulations and well done Thank for today. But also, your morning outfit, I wanted to tell people where you got it from. Ashan's on Soho Road in Birmingham. Did you? Did they actually purposely make it for you? It, there was a base one that I chose, and then after that I customised bits and bobs of it. So was it expensive? Very expensive. <laughs> there you go, guys. He looked amazing this morning, but you know what? And your pug this morning, who was that tied by? Uh, tie my turban. Tie my turban, turned his pug up, even though he made him come at 5.50 this morning, which made us get up early. But hey ho, tie your turban did a really good job this morning, didn't they? Pinky, your outfit, darling, absolutely stunning. The pink and the orange. What made you choose that? I uh, just didn't want to wear red. Didn't want to do something traditional. You're not. You're not. You're not very. She's. She's not traditional at all. This girl. She's got to be different. So, tell me, where'd you get it from? Uh, India. It's from India. So, did you go to India especially just to get the outfit? Yeah. Yeah. Back in November. And your first out outfit that you chose was this one? Uh, yeah, it was this one. After a long, long decision, then it was this one. Are yeah. oh, you glad you went all the way to India? Or do you yeah. think? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't have changed it. No. Oh, what so what about advice to anybody who's booking a wedding? What do you reckon? Anything that you shouldn't have done today or what do you reckon looking back now? Um, Don't stress about timing. Yeah. Everything's just going to happen. It's fine. Did you actually stress when you were booking the wedding or did you enjoy the process of the wedding? I was stressed. <laughs> do, you think, do you think it's important that people don't stress and enjoy it? Yeah, of course few days towards the wedding just forget about everything everything's planned and everything just just enjoy the days trust me guys what's gonna happen is gonna happen just chill out and enjoy your big day coming from two experts who got married today thank you so much guys enjoy the rest of your rod see you later so guys we've got Hardip here from magical studios and he's set up his little studio here so you can tell us a bit about what you guys do yeah um magical studios what we do here is event photography so family friends and guests everyone who comes to the wedding don't exactly have a chance to have an amazing family picture taken so they come across here we take the pictures we do on-site editing printing and family friends and guests take all the pictures away with them on the day Excellent. And then what happens? Do you like the families pay for these individually? Do the bride and groom pay for this? What, how, how does it all work? Um, obviously, for, for this wedding specifically, family, friends and guests will be purchasing their own images. But it works anyway, because obviously brides and grooms can get vouchers or they can have the guests to just purchase their images as they're here today. How busy do you get then? Very busy. I mean, I'm sure you two see us more than anything. I mean, every weekend we're out and about covering all sorts of weddings. Do you not get like your main photographers that are actually working on the main day come up to you and go, ah, what are you guys doing here? No, I mean, you, you don't now because obviously you get to mingle tingle with all photographers. Everyone understands what you do. So no one's, te no one's actually step towing at each other, you see. So the main photographers cover the bride and groom, follow them around. And we're just, we're just on our side where we just cover everybody from here. Oh, it's amazing. And will you let everybody know where they can find out a bit more about you guys? Yeah, that'll be magicalstudios.co.uk or you can see us on Facebook, Magical Studios. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Right, so we are here with the Regency's catering team. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Tell me what you guys do here then. Uh, I'm the head waiter for the Regency Banqueting Suit on the Hagley Road. And we normally in-house catering and we serve the food and uh, we got always uh, serve on the table. Sometimes whatever the uh, uh, guest require, we always try to make them happy. So today then, do you, do you mainly do like Indian food or do you do different types of foods? Oh, we normally do Indian and also it depends on the people, what they want and uh, whatever they provide in the kitchen, we always provide this food. Excellent. And um, today's menu then, all oh, Punjabi, English roti, naans, what you got today? Today, I'm going to Punjabi, which is naan, chane, starter, samosa, veg or non-veg, I'm going to Sounds delicious, so we'll obviously get to try that food a little bit later and tell you what we think of that. So uh, let everybody know about Regency, where they can get more details of Regency. Okay, you can come, uh, you can get the uh, detail from the reception. And also you can uh, find us on the website, a Regency Banqueting Suit on Hagley Road. Oh, excellent guys. Beautiful venue, to be fair. It's nice, bright, airy. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome, no Thank problem. You. All yeah. right. So today, this is the other team, photographer. Do you want to introduce Hi. yourself? Hi, guys. It's uh, Manny Uppo from SV Falter and Cinema. And it's good to be here today. So, Manny, 
right? We try not to work with other photographers and other videographers. Yeah. We find it very difficult. But today it's absolutely a really good pleasure actually to work alongside you. You've been um, a pleasure to kind of have there. Um, the only thing I probably would say is you are looking too smart compared to my team who come out in like t-shirts and raggy clothes and stuff like that just for comfort. Well, um, first of all, uh, I'd like to thank you all for the compliments and um, it's great working alongside you and uh, it makes my life easier to collaborate with a team that's quite friendly and um, so that's nice and in regarding the way I dress, um, yeah I like it and uh, just yeah pretty much like it and you never know, I might <laughs> find some. Um, do you want to let everybody know where to find details about your company then? Yeah, sure. You could find us on Facebook as well, and um, Manny Upple, and the Facebook page is SV Photo and Cinema. That's photography, videography, and cinematography. And our website as well, it's uh, starvideoproductions.co.uk. And um, we're based in Albury. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yep, it's a pleasure to um, be interviewed by you guys. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank